for the civilian employees, there were people that were furloughed, so they were told that they shouldn't come to work, they weren't going to be paid. Uh, they were promised and ultimately uh, a bill was passed that said they would receive back pay once the shutdown was over. Those people were covered under that uh, UCFE, that federal civilian benefit program. They weren't working, they were able to file benefits and we processed those claims. Uh, we are continuing to do that up through uh, Friday when the shutdown ended and we have a number of claims in various stages. Uh, Chair Taylor, Senator Mona Sanderson, we received about a um, little over 3,300 federal employees filed claims between the start of the shutdown and January 24th. Not all of those were because of the shutdown. We always have some people filing benefits. What we did is uh, our systems don't let us readily distinguish unless we manually track each claim, which were because of the shutdown. But when we compared that same time period uh, a year ago, we had just about 1,000 claims. So we had about 2,300 more federal employees filing claims this year than we did the same time last year. Um, so most of the claims that we saw were from the furloughed employees that either had uh, already started to receive benefits or the, the claims were going to go through and they would be eligible for benefits. And so for those furloughed employees who were not allowed to work, they're unemployed, the traditional definitions kind of worked so that they were able to get benefits. There were also uh, what the federal government was calling accepted workers who were also not getting paid but were told that they had to work. Uh, and here that those federal benefit programs say that you need to apply state law uh, and state definitions of who is unemployed. And every state has a definition. Uh, Oregon has a slightly higher threshold than some other states, but they're all relatively similar. Uh, and they say that if you are working full time, whether or not you are receiving pay, you are not considered unemployed. Uh, and in Oregon, that's in ORS 657-100. So looking at that definition, the situation where people are being required to work but not receiving pay is something probably not anticipated when that definition was created. Uh, those accepted federal employees were not considered unemployed, so could not receive unemployment benefits. Uh, traditionally, being required to work and getting paid for it are kind of inextricably linked. So we haven't run into that situation where you're being required to work but not getting paid. So all I'm glad to say the thing we're all in agreement that if you work, you should get paid. Under these federal programs, because we're running those for the federal government, they have directed uh, consistently back to the 2013 shutdown that if you receive back pay, then that kind of after the fact counts as earnings and the benefits that people receive during the shutdown uh, become overpayments. <laughs> so these people can apply for benefits, they're not getting paid, they can receive the benefits. When they get back pay at a later point, uh, the benefits they received are overpaid. The way that those are collected in Oregon because those overpayments weren't the workers' fault, uh, we tell them how much it is, we encourage them to voluntarily repay, if they don't do that, our only statutory mechanism to collect those is by offsetting against future unemployment benefits they would receive. So as an example, we did have some people that were unemployed, uh, federal employees during the 2013 shutdown and received some benefits. Some of those people repaid the benefits, some of them did not. If you were someone that was unemployed in 2013 and received those federal benefits, you were again unemployed during this shutdown uh, and had not repaid that overpayment, before you were able to get any unemployment benefits this time, you would first have to repay that overpayment from 2013. Um, the wrinkles, we are right at the edge of that five year time period where we can collect, so those were kind of aging out as this shutdown went on. Um, so as of now, now that the shutdown is over, these federal employees are not eligible for benefits, but it was during the shutdown when people could receive the benefits uh, and we were trying to inform people at the time that these will be overpayments once you get the back pay.